Hello and welcome back. Well, okay, last time we talked about getting this texture. This texture is, well, good tileable. And now we're going to see how we're go going to import this texture into Crazy Bump. Well, this is Crazy Bump. Um, I have it licensed. Uh, you could just go to the site. It's uh, crazy. I should type it correctly. Crazybump.com There we go. Okay, need quick time for it to show. There we go. Um you can just download it, use it for 30 days for free. It's actually quite a handy tool for if you don't know how to make normal maps, specular, diffuse, well diffuse we just made, but you get the idea. Um you can use any normal photograph um, we're going to use our wood texture we made it imports almost any known uh, file format PMP, JPEG, PNG, TGA uh, even Photoshop files so that works like a charm you don't have to export it to some unknown strange exotic file format it just works immediately well, when it's done with thinking it will show you uh, a 3D render, you can use a ball, a column, a roller, a box, well, self explanatory. And you can even load a mesh in it if you would have a custom mesh you would like to test the texture on. Well, I don't have that at the moment, I'm just going to use the box because it's a wood texture and it will probably be used or mostly be used on a flat surface and not on a round, or wood usually isn't round. Perhaps on chairs, but anyway, make sure that you only have the fuse and colored lights on. I don't use speculate. It just, in my opinion, it totally destroys the image, especially on wood. Makes it look wet, and well, unless you're working in a wet environment, but we're not. Parallax. Also, make sure you have that disabled. It well, you can see it from this angle. displaces it even more than just a normal map. I don't like the effect and uh, oh sorry. I don't like the effect and Unreal doesn't handle it that well. It takes a lot of tweaking for it to look slightly good and then even only in specific situations. Anyway, um this are the fuse file we load it. Uh, we can make it a bit lighter if we think it's too dark don't do too much. I like the I like the dark dark areas. You can make it a bit darker if your texture is too light. So remove some highlights. 3D crevices. What they actually do is create dark areas around spots. Crazy bum things might be uh, a ledge or a pit or something. But the most interesting parts or the most useful part of Crazy Bump is the normals. And normal is actually nothing more than some height information, which it uses to fake depth with it. If you look at the site, you can see it a bit that this ledge and this ledge and some small mountain areas here are appearing. But it's just optical illusion. When you look from the side, you can clearly see that there's nothing there. Okay, we can increase the intensity. What we'll do, I'll switch back to ball, you can see it more clearly. We increase the intensity to 99. You can see that it, yeah, kind of extreme. Yeah, it, it makes it, it makes the mountain ranges way higher. So the peaks get higher and the valleys get deeper. Which is only optical. I don't like it to put it that high. I usually prefer because wood is usually kind of a flat texture. I kind of like it at 25 or no not me not minus 99 25 that usually looks good for a flat texture if you would have something for example for the ground so rubble or um, uh, dirt or something you could use a higher texture than the, or you could use a higher intensity so like 50 then you would have the optical illusion that there's actually uh, pebbles or small rocks on the ground. 
we don't need that for wood. You can get some more detail with noise removal and then sharpen. Makes the smaller areas better, but usually I just prefer keeping them standard at zero and zero. Sometimes it doesn't entirely recognize it, and you can play with the uh, very large detail slider. But usually it's quite okay. Okay, now we're going to save them. Save normals to file. You can even say save all textures. Then you will also save the displacement, occlusion, and specularity. I'm not going to jump into those. Um, although, although UDK can use them, but I prefer using uh, just the normals and the diffuse. And if I would need occlusion or specular, I would just get them from the diffuse. So save normals to file. Um, you can save them anywhere you like. I already have a pre done folder which has them and I'm going to make a folder just tutorial and we're going to save them as tiny wood normal and TGA keep in mind that you do need TGA um, by far the best format for the UDK you can also use uh, BMP but I don't like it that much save them and the fuse. You can also save the fuse. Come on. And use the same settings for this one as well. You can even rename it. Sounds a bit weird. Tiling wood. Tiling wood underscore color. Save. Okay. Well, that's all I have to tell you about Crazy Bump. It's a very easy program, you get used to it very fast. Uh, if you're a student and you don't have the money, you can just try the 30 day, day trial. Um, see if you like it. If you like it, I would suggest buying it. I did so myself. Um, it's only 35 euros or 40 dollars or something. So that's actually peanuts. Unless, of course, you know how to make your normals uh, in Photoshop or you can export them from Maya or 3ds Max that also works but if you don't have that and you need the normals just use Crazy Pump, it works fine okay um, that's all for now in the next tutorial I'm going to talk about um, importing these textures we just made into the UDK and then putting them into a shader well, hope to see you then, bye